Hi, this is Lulu Wei for Daily Extra, and we're here at the Phoenix Concert Theater for the band Les Zeppelin. So why Les Zeppelin? Well, Lulu, <laughs> um, really the truth of it is, is that it's just the perfect name for the band. I mean, it says everything you need to know about the band. It says all girls playing Led Zeppelin. And whatever else you might conjure from that is, you know, it's a good bit of mystery and fun and we're all for that. So you guys have been doing this for the past 10 years. How have you guys as a band evolved in your music and how has the scene kind of changed in the past 10 years? Uh, well, when we first started doing this, there was a kind of uh, building momentum or uh, a, a new phenomenon of women taking on this kind of hard rock or music that is, uh, has always been considered rightfully or wrongfully uh, male-oriented. It was really this kind of shocking thing. We perform it like classical musicians would. We sort of use it as our channel and as our, we bring ourselves to it. We've traveled all over the world. We play huge festivals and it's, it's really kind of an amazing thing. Uh, it's got a lot of mystical elements to it. So, it, so it's really, I, I think it's really cool. I actually met John Paul Jones at the O2 show. I did get to go to the reunion, and he was just so gracious and so nice and so down to earth. And he kind of stunned me because when I was introduced to him, he was, oh yeah, Les Zeppelin. I've heard about you, I'm dying to see you play. And I was sort of so stunned because I just watched him play this magnificent show and he's such an awesome musician that I was sort of cut to the quick because he was raving all about our band and I was just saying, forget us, you were just the most amazing thing. So that was really, really nice. And then, you know, last year I finally met Jimmy, my alter ego, you know, and it was very similar, you know, he really was fantastic and said, I've listened to your records and you're doing a great job and we had this whole moment, it was fantastic really beyond what I could have even dreamed. And then he came to see us in London, you know, one of the dream come true moments. He loved it, so it was great. So what's next for Les Zeppelin? There's something about the alchemy of what we're doing with all women playing such incredibly powerful music that's beloved around the world. People can appreciate it, like they come to hear it, they know what it is, and then when they see women being so powerful on stage, they understand it. So I think there's something just even in that, which lends itself to something bigger, and we're working on a couple of ideas that, that have that at its core, like what happens when women play this music. Thanks so much for talking to us, and have a great show. Thank you, Lulu.